The GOP hypocrisy on life. All that and more now on Graf's Grievances. As the 2024 Republican presidential primary heats up, both former President Donald Trump and Florida Governor Ron DeSantis touting their support for expanding the death penalty. Trump voicing support for imposing the death penalty as punishment for convicted drug dealers, and DeSantis signing a bill lowering the threshold for imposing the death penalty in Florida. The change allowing juries to recommend a death sentence even if as many as four jurors vote against it. Until now, a unanimous jury vote was needed to recommend capital punishment. This move by DeSantis cementing Florida as the state with the lowest threshold for imposing the death penalty in the nation. According to the New York Times, nearly all of the 27 states that allow the death penalty require unanimous juries. DeSantis also signing a bill earlier this month allowing the death penalty in child rape convictions. This despite the Supreme Court finding it unconstitutional for states to use capital punishment for a crime other than murder. This fervor on the right for literally killing Americans comes as Republicans from coast to coast push legislation curtailing abortion rights. Following the Supreme Court's decision overturning Roe v. Wade, most abortions are now banned in 14 states, with 44 states prohibiting some abortions after a certain point in pregnancy. The reason Republicans say they are pushing to ban abortion? They argue that life begins at conception, and therefore abortion is tantamount to murder. Colloquially, this perspective becoming known as the pro-life movement. Yet despite this moniker, Republican lawmakers have overwhelmingly shown us they are the furthest thing from pro-life. As President Donald Trump resuming federal executions following a 17-year hiatus, this barbaric move allowing Trump to oversee more federal executions than any president in 120 years. President Biden ordering a moratorium on carrying out federal death sentences after taking office. And not wanting to be overshadowed by his biggest competitor for the Republican presidential nomination, DeSantis is now ramping up executions in Florida as he prepares to launch his White House bid. Just this week, DeSantis signing another death warrant for one of the over 300 people on Florida's death row. DeSantis authorizing four executions in less than four months after not signing a death warrant in three years. This heinous disregard for life made exceedingly worse when you learn Florida has had more exonerations from death row than any other state. With more than 30 inmates sentenced to death being exonerated according to the Death Penalty Information Center. So the next time your favorite Republican touts their supposedly pro-life credentials and recites Bible verses, ask them how they feel about the death penalty and why they should get to play God and decide who lives and who dies. Thanks for watching Graf's Grievances. Let me know what you think.